All right, thank you so much, Andrew. The U.S.-Canada border reopening soon, and there are a lot of questions at this hour on who can cross on both sides. Grant Herms is live to break down some of the facts and to try to avoid any of that confusion. Grant? Well, Senator, there is an awful lot of confusion when it comes to what happens starting August 9th. You know, who can cross? What do you need to cross? And most importantly, how do you get back across the U.S. border, given that the U.S. border will be closed and won't be reopening anytime soon? So here's what we know based on what's up right now from Customs and Border Patrol, as well as Canadian Border Security. Starting August 9th, any fully vaccinated American or permanent resident will be able to cross into Canada without having to quarantine for 14 days. Now, to do that, they'll need to track their health status and travel using an app the Canadian government introduced several weeks ago called Arrive Can. Now from there, they're travel, they're free rather to travel into Canada. The big question though, like we said, for a lot of folks is what does that mean for coming back? Well, according to the CBP, any U.S. citizen or permanent resident is allowed to return to the U.S. The border closure only applies to non-U.S. citizens or residents. In a press conference earlier this week, Canada's public safety minister said he was confident that those restrictions might change. We'll continue to work very closely with the Americans. I'm confident that as the situation continues to improve um, in their country, that, that we'll be able to ma maintain, you know, a reasonable balance between the, in the measures. But we're doing what's right for Canadians. Now, a spokesperson for CBP said that anybody coming back into, into the U.S. rather will need to follow what's already been up, which is called the Western Hemisphere Travel Initiative. And we'll break that down for you tonight at 6 o'clock. Sandra? All right, we'll see you then. Thank you, Grant.